Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the Dash scripting in Maya 2018, which is a new uh, addition into this version. So, Dash scripting is an inline uh, scripting method which can create some very uh, normal or usual uh, operations on the selected uh, uh, channel box properties. So, uh, I will just uh, note down the <coughs> command uh, over here that is one is R, L, E and T S. Now how to use them I will just show you with some examples. Now first we will start with the R which will be stand for the randomization. So I have created a, a sort of uh, a rocky type a rock type an object with uh, soft selection and all and I want to randomize this in the position. So now first we have to duplicate them let's suppose yeah just keep this thing a little side now say let let's suppose i i want to uh, distribute this uh, all these rocks uh, which will be which should be scattered in in different areas now that will be uh, pretty easy because i just have to use select all the translate boxes press alt and right click on it and immediately we will see there is a small box uh, will appear and I have to write down the command over here. So first of all I will press R which is randomization value and if you want a certain uh, value from 0 then you have to just put that particular value like let us say I want these rocks to be distributed from 0 to positive 15 so I just have to type 15 and it will distribute all these rocks from X Y and Z axis from positive to uh, a positive uh, sorry from 0 to positive 15 in between this positive 0 to positive 15 this is a this is a really important you need to understand so if I hit enter you will see they are only in the one axis area now I don't want that because I want my rocks to be distributed on the floor so I will skip the y axis okay so I will only distribute it on x and z so what I will do is alt right click and say random to let's say 15 so now what will happen it will randomize oops sorry I didn't start the bracket okay so what will happen this will this will position all these objects randomly between 0 and 15 now if I hit enter you will see this is my positive uh, this thing by positive uh, X and positive Z so this this one is actually uh, randomly distributed uh, within 0 and 15 now I want a little more like suppose I'll just copy sorry I just move all these stuffs over here okay now I will just distribute them press alt right click in within a range like let's suppose plus 10 comma minus 10 right so that these things these objects has been randomly distributed in different places so this is very handy when you are actually you know uh, uh, <coughs> handling some uh, quite a huge number of objects now the, the problem is that my rocks are quite uh, similar looking so I can use the same performance into the scale X Y and Z also so what I will do is I'll randomize this from 1.2 or maybe 0.35 to 2.7 now you can see my rocks has been actually randomized in different different uh, axes uh, sorry in different different scale axes also so this is this can be a very very handy you know uh, uh, for for when you are actually uh, you know distributing the entire stuff uh, distributing uh, you know uh, uh, 
your object randomly throughout your skin or scattering some some objects so this can be really really helpful so this is one uh, one example uh, which I'd like to show okay so coming to the next one great uh, for the next one I'll just make these boxes to z axis to zero yeah so I have these uh, cubes polygonal cubes now I want to distribute them linearly which was my second command linearly uh, between a certain value of the z-axis like a staircase now you know uh, I just have to select them select the translate z right click and I have to press L and say random number like 10 now the problem is when I hit enter you will see my desired result is not coming it is it is not exactly linearly distributed some, something something wrong happened the mistake that I have make is the selection uh, the process that uh, the 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 way I have selected the the selection uh, series is is wrong so I have to serially select all those objects one by one this is really really important for this particular command which uh, you need to you know uh, follow so now if we all uh, and right click and say L 10 for bracket end hit enter now you will see this all these objects has been distributed between 0 and 10 now this is really interesting now however I found that I cannot put a, uh, a any random values like 15 or 20 uh, sorry not not 20 15 or 17 or 20 uh, 12.3 or something like that it's only taking from a uh, certain uh, uh, digits like 10 20 and all not even 5 and that's I, I really don't have any idea why this is happening and I still have to find out I couldn't actually find it find that out if you select if you select or right click and say uh, let's get back to the default select right click and say L with 5 it's not happening okay even if I go right click let's suppose L to 15 it's only taking 10 you can see this is the tenth, the last one. Okay, so somehow all uh, this particular command is working on the 10, 20, 30, 40, or something like that. So this is this is kind of a limitations which I found. But <coughs> if you select all of them, and let's suppose in the rotate Y, Alt right click, say L 360, and hit Enter immediately you can see it's become a spiral staircase so it's very easy to create this uh, this kind of uh, spiral staircase through this particular command uh, this is really helpful okay so this is the linear one which uh, I was intended to show and now the third one which is the ease animation now this is really really interesting one so <coughs> So here I have created an animation, small animation over here. If you play this, the ball or the sphere is actually moving from one point to another point. Now before I start uh, showing up this particular command, what I have to do is I have to go to the graph editor and convert this to a linear one. Because uh, this E command is actually going to ease in or out the animation uh, keys. So, <coughs> so if you, I, I will recommend you to uh, open the graph editor so that you can actually see what is happening uh, to the animation. So, go to the select the translate Z, Alt right click, and say E. Now, if I just do E and don't put any kind of value, then what will happen is it's 
easing out but it's only easing out the end uh, end one end uh, animation key in a great extent rather than the starting one they are now distributing it now here I would like to tell you a very specific thing about this particular uh, command that is this actually works between minus one and one a uh, plus one so the minus one value creates uh, an extreme ease for the starting uh, keyframe and uh, plus one is actually work on the uh, end keyframe so this is really really interesting that you have to un understand and also you have to remember while you are applying this okay so what I will do is I will just convert this to again into linear and I will just make it duplicate of this fine now I have to select the keys and paste them into the other two so now what I have is three different balls or the uh, spheres which is actually traveling in the same time and same speed so right now what I will do is first select the first one and translate Z alt right click and say E and I will use minus 1 into this see the graph is actually working on much more into the starting uh, keyframe the similar command I will use but instead of minus 1 I will use 0 and here you will see it has been distributed between uh, first and the last keyframe and select this one and at the end E minus 1 oops sorry yeah so it enter oops sorry this should be plus 1 yeah so E 1 yeah so now if you play the animation and you will see now this will be perhaps the most interesting uh, while you are using uh, in the mash uh, nodes there's the E command and the last one which is the TS which is time uh, offsetting okay for that what I can do is I can use the same animation over here you can see this my animation was starting from frame 1 and it was from until uh, 45 frames now if I select this all three objects and I all click on the translate Z and uh, all click on the translate Z and say TS say five frames and hit enter you will see what happened the all of them has been offset by five frames so my one object the first object which has been uh, certainly here I have to I I'm sorry I I forgot to tell you that selection series is very important the series the way you have been selected the number one selection will affect first number two selection will affect second the number three selection will affect third so first selection was this one so this has been uh, I mean it, it restrained is its uh, its older position or older values and the second one is actually been uh, selected last so there has been uh, you know uh, shifted 10 frames or 11 frames and this one is further uh, for the 5 frames so what I will do is I will just uh, make sure all of them has been back yeah so first select this then select this and then select this so the order is very very important the selection order is very very important exactly like the linear way the linear command so now what I will do is I will select this one the translate Z alt right click and say TS for five frames and hit enter see what is happening is first go first second go second and third go third so these are the basic uh, of dash scripting that we, we have the documentation says that you can actually edit the dash dot json uh, script that has been uh, 
inside the mass scripting folder so if you are actually passionate about creating all this kind of scripts and all you can explore them and actually you can create your own script so hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you very much please subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us on twitter and facebook thank you very much